You always hear the old saying that monsters don't exist. Yet, the moment that you feel like you have everything figured out is the exact moment that reality jumps up and bites you right in the ass. You always hear the old tales of things going bump in the night. Yet, sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. As a child, I had always had a fascination with the strange and paranormal. I had always had an underlying feeling that there was so much more to life than what was known amongst common society. And yet, somehow, one night, I would get more than I what I had bargained for. It was just like any other night. It was early September, and a tad muggy with a slight breeze. Around one in the morning, our apartment complex was in a fairly decent neighbor, neighborhood with practically no woods or wilderness areas in sight. So the last thing that you would suspect would be something out of the ordinary or, dare I say, supernatural. Usually the only suspicious activity that went down was the occasional, <laughs> well maybe not so occasional, smell of ganja smoke or the occasional drunken being attempting to find their way home after having too much fun out all the time. But that wasn't the case this night. I had dozed off earlier that evening, but of all, all of a sudden I had awoken in the middle of the night. Waking up in the middle of the night is fairly common, and at first things didn't appear any more off kilter than usual. Then I began to gradually feel feel pressure on my upper body, as if someone was standing on top of my chest and just digging their heels into it. I felt as though I was out of my body, and I was just observing. I was con conscious, conscious, but I wasn't in my body, and in a black mass that suddenly crept over me out of nowhere and slipped itself across my face. I felt as though I couldn't breathe, couldn't move, couldn't speak, paralyzed, crippled, unable to perceive, react, anything. I tried, but to no avail. Then, suddenly out of my peripheral vision, I could see two large, luminous objects staring at me through the window. Elliptical, glowing, fixated on me. Sweat is pouring through my body. My heart is racing. I want to scream, run, hide, reach over for my baseball bat, my Louisville slugger, next to my bedpost. An attempt to defend myself. Anything! Nothing. And the deep breathing becomes audible deeper and deeper and louder. The glass on the window begins to fog. Then, I begin to hear the tapping of nails on the window over and over, repeating itself. In a pattern starting with the pinky and ending with the thumb, in sequence, simultaneously. I struggle, I quake, I, 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 I do whatever is necessary. Nothing. Then, the breathing transitions into a deep, low, rumbling growl, growing louder and transitioning into a deafening roar, a scream. My window gives out his two enormous black humanoid hands with black three-inch claws burst through the opening. I nearly burst out of my skin. Then I realize. <sighs> I'm back, drenched in sweat, breathing heavily, shaking, and on the brink of tears. I lay back down, relieved trying to relay what just happened, trying to 
unpack, unpack everything. I'm catching my breath. I scan the room. Nothing. Complete stillness and peace. The blinds concealing the inside over the, mo the window. My bat next to the bedpost. Everything is in place. All is well. Order has been restored. Then faintly, I hear a sound. The huffing of puppy mixed with a deep rasp. As though some sort of large animal was deeply panting while trying to conceal its voice. Attempting to get out of the situation as quickly and stuffily as possible. The sound gets deeper and slightly louder. A deep huff, like a miniature freight train. Not that of a person or a dog, but more of something akin to something very large. Say a lion, a tiger, a bear, or maybe even a horse or a bull. Very deep, rich sound. Lots of resonance. An incredible lung capacity. About four and a half feet off the ground. Moving at a quick pace. And not making any audible sounds with its footsteps. Usually. We can make account people walking by. Dogs walking by. Or things like that. No footsteps. Just this concealed panting. I had figured that this thing had to be in excess of 400 pounds, and you'd be leaving booming footsteps, but no, just the deep panting. In a matter of three to four seconds, it passed right by my unit as quickly as it had appeared, following the paved sidewalk without hardly making a sound. Gear. God, what was that thing? How in the world did it make it this far into a suburban environment without being detected? What was it looking for? What was it trying to escape? Where was it going? What were its intentions? Does it use this corridor often? Will it come back? All sorts of questions run through my mind. Shaking. Sweating, feeling of dread, returned shortly and slightly, though short lived. The terror passed right through along with its catalyst. Ten minutes later, my buddy went outside to smoke a cigarette, yawning. I thought of warning him of what had just transpired, but thought better of it. How the hell am I going to explain this? How do I explain this? Who will believe this? This is so damn crazy, I thought to myself. I shook my head and began to doze off. Till this day, I've never figured out what it was that night. And to be honest, I don't think that I want to.